Hi all, we're back. I'm Jenny Clark from the marketing team at Cube and I'm joined today by our head of sales for the Americas, Rob Fulcher. So Rob, we all know about artificial intelligence and of course anyone within financial services is going to be aware of financial regulators, financial regulations, all the rest. But what is regulatory intelligence and how are those two things now starting to come together? Thanks, Jenny. Um, well, I would say that regulatory intelligence goes uh, far beyond the surface layer of the uh, generic regulatory data uh, and regulatory processing. In using artificial intelligence, uh, such as uh, machine learning and natural language processing, regulatory intelligence solutions can, uh, can automate um, compliance processes and provide solutions that think for themselves and do the legwork that would otherwise have been done by humans. So, for example, if you take uh, monitoring, capturing regulations, uh, regulatory intelligence can automatically do that and then provide that data at a very granular level and, and classify in a meaningful way for, for its customers. OK, because I suppose in the past, the term regulatory intelligence has been used really as a way of just of describing horizon scanning. So regulatory intelligence would be a person or a team of people who would be scoping out information or regulatory changes and finding out what's going on in the regulatory sphere. But mm -hmm. now there appears to be a rebranding which has got much more of an influence from technology. Why now is it starting to become more associated with technology? Yeah, I, I, I agree with both, both of those points. So, but starting with the first, I think I think if you were to go back 10 years or so ago, um, that that description of, of uh, regulatory intelligence, I think that was fair. Um, but um, but I think that was that's really kind of telling of where regulatory intelligence was in terms of its limitations. If you look now over the last 10 years or so, there's been so much advancement on technology um, within technology. It means that there's um, as an example, you no longer have to have teams of compliance experts that are scouring uh, regulatory web websites uh, for hours upon hours every day in order to find regulatory change, filter that change down to applicability to what applies to their business and then disseminate it throughout the organization. That can now, because of technology, be done automatically and instantly. Um, secondly, regulatory intelligence takes a very holistic view of, um, of the world of financial services. Um, so looking at, at CUBE uh, regulatory intelligence, we address the traditional challenges of regulatory change management by providing deep insights into every aspect of the regulatory chain, from regulatory obligations right through to, um, to operational risks and controls. That is to say that regulatory intelligence not only provides firms with a much needed peace of mind, um, but it also provides valuable data um, and valuable data points by ensuring that they're alerted to relevant regulatory changes, as well as the parts of their organization that are impacted by that change. Uh, and in turn, actually, it can, it can highlight um, any potential blind spots within the organization, whether that's the regulation itself or the, the uh, controls and policies that sit behind um, and, uh, and, and help manage that, that, that regulation within, within the, the organization. Lastly, Jenny, I would say that, that as valuable as regulatory intelligence is as a kind of standalone, it is, of course, uh, at its most uh, valuable when it's working in concert with human experts. Yeah. And that's when it can really um, it can really elevate and accelerate the capacity of compliance teams to implement regulatory uh, changes faster uh, and bring about a high level of assurance within an organisation as far as uh, reg change and reg change management practices go. Big question is how is Cube using regulatory intelligence to benefit its customers? What is different or special about our approach? Thank you for that, for that question, Jenny. Um, well, Cube's digital regulation platform runs algorithmic scripts and web analysis to capture global regulatory data in um, over 180 different countries right now. Uh, and um, and if we if we look at the data that we're actually bringing in, we're looking at um, 
in, in, in most cases, unstructured data that we are automatically converting into a consistent unified uh, data structure. Mm -hmm. And that is irrespective of whether the data is a PDF, an Excel, a web rule book, we're always converting that into a single normalized format and then extracting a, a multitude of learnings from it uh, on behalf of our customers. We're also automatically translating uh, the source data um, from its native language uh, into English and providing both versions to our customers. And we're doing that in, um, in over 60 languages right now. Um, and I'd say importantly as well, and this is something that I know offers um, a huge amount of value to our customers, is we are converting um, generic regulation um, or generic versions of regulation into, uh, into high value to our customers. And we're doing that by, um, by, as an example, identifying the change from one version to another so that they can instantly uh, see where the changes occurred, uh, as well as get a sense of the impact of that change by just, you know, the extent of the, of the change that a regulator or an issuing body has made. Further, um, what, what are we doing at Cube? We're, we're extracting the meaningful information to establish uh, the relevance of the regulations and then automatically uh, processing and classifying uh, the regulation against CUBE's reg ontology, which maps it against an ontological structure to bring real meaningful and regulatory um, insight to, to our end customers. So you can, you can essentially take these huge reg, reg books or rule books and process that, those against the CUBE reg ontology and then classify all of that by regulatory themes and topics um, that are, are not just meaningful to the customers, but meaningful to the industry. So if you look at the that whole process that I've just described from end to end, you can see how regulatory intelligence providers like Cube are taking generic regulatory content and converting it into meaningful regulatory intelligence for, for customers. There, that's some uh, brilliant answers there, Rob. Thank you very much for that. And thank you everyone else for watching.